Welcome back to another bonus video for editing using Adobe Bridge. Hey, if you're going to be a master user of anything photographic or video related, you're going to need to become a master of memory, of your computer's use of memory. When you go to buy a computer, you really want to plan on putting your money in three particular areas. All right. The first is, and if you don't get all three of these right, you're going to be slow. You're going to wish you had RAM. You've got to put enough money into RAM when you budget for a new computer. This is particularly true for anything that is RAM intensive, such as Photoshop, Lightroom, or Bridge. You need RAM, plenty of it. When you don't have enough real RAM, random access memory, what is that? It's IQ. And when your computer doesn't have enough IQ, it kicks into something called virtual memory. It uses your hard drive space. It's slow and laborious. You'd rather it not. The second thing you're going to need is a really fast CPU, as fast as you can afford. Now, what's a CPU? It's the computer. It's the chip. It's the central processing unit. You're going to need to invest money in a CPU. Well, should I get a fast CPU or RAM? What am I telling you? You're going to need both. Don't skimp on one. Most people do. They skimp on one and they pay dearly with the other two. The third thing you're going to need is, is storage. Now, unfortunately, storage is measured in the same units as RAM and people get them confused. Your hard drive is measured in megabytes or gigabytes. Your RAM is also measured in megabytes or soon gigabytes. The problem is that they're completely different beasts. Sometimes you'll get a memory item. It's just an error. Uh, the hard disk is full. What do you do? Or you'll say, uh, uh, not enough RAM to complete this procedure. And you go, oh, I don't have enough RAM. Well, then I'll empty my hard drive. No help. No help. Storage is like your file cabinets or your garage. Well, let's talk. Hey, RAM, uh, it's like Einstein. It's, uh, it's IQ. And you would rather hire Einstein than me if you could afford him. Now, Einstein's IQ... I don't know, 180? I, I don't know what it was, but mine, for example, I know it's like 70. And just because his is more than double mine, does it mean that I could come up with the theory of relativity in only twice the time? No. There are things I just cannot do. I can't process without enough RAM. It's like you coming home from work on a bad day. Oh, I can't take any more. You've just had enough, and your computer does the same thing. You need enough RAM, enough system IQ, in order to process whatever you throw at your computer. CPU is speed. It's like a car. It's like a fast car. And you can get on the road, and you can drive really fast to your favorite campground. Or you could get in a, an RV. And if it was a race, you wouldn't want to be in the RV. The CPU is the central processing unit. That car better be fast. Storage. If I added another drawer of storage, it would not increase my IQ in any way. It just means I could store more of my dumb stuff. Right? Einstein may not have even had a room to store his stuff. He would just, it was all in here in, in RAM. But he could scribble. And if he were going to hang on to those scribbles of all his mathematical equations, maybe he would need some storage. But if his bride bought him even more storage, it would not have increased his IQ one iota. Consider these things when you go to buy a computer for use, best use, efficient use with Photoshop, Lightroom, or Bridge. You want to spend your money on RAM as much as you can afford on a CPU that's fast. It's measured in gigahertz, GHZs. The higher that number, the more miles per hour your car can run. Faster is better. But please don't disregard the need for storage. 
you're going to need some storage. You're going to be creating big, heavy files. And you'll see on another bonus video that we'll also use some of our storage to manage something called our cache, C-A-C-H-E. And the cache in Bridge will help us increase the efficiency of Bridge itself.